What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Spark Nero. Today we are going to be reacting to adult jokes in kids cartoons. You know me things that I missed out as a kid. Let me check. Because I watched a lot of cartoons when I was a kid. So let me check what I missed out as a kid. So before we get into this video, like, share and subscribe. What did you guys do? What is this mess? I can't even take a shower around here without you guys screwing things up. Kid cartoon shows have no chill. There are some things in these episodes that we totally miss when we were younger, but now that we're all adults, oh boy, is there something to see here. After watching this list, you are going to be so confused as to how the writers somehow managed to get this past production and the networks. Guys, we're going super crazy on this list. I found some really dirty jokes from these cartoons and today we're going to go through them together. Today we're going to be looking at cartoons from all across the board, ranging from Cartoon Network all the way up to the Disney Channel. Let's go on to our first one. Thank you for saving my kingdom, boys. The deer wanted our sugar, but I didn't give him any. If you know what I mean. What kind of sugar is she talking about? Princess Bubblegum made it pretty clear that the deer wanted some sugar, but I think it's obvious to the viewer the only sugar he wanted was the sugar between her. Why, why would she ask them? If you know what I mean. That's suspicious. He wanted to take my sugar. He wanted to taste my sugar. And you're asking if you know what I mean. That means if you are naughty enough. between her and the other characters, seeing as they're all covered in sugar. But is this a joke? Is this a dirty joke? Her mannerisms and tone of voice says it all. Let's go on. You are not the only one with powerful eyes. Yeah, but I bet I'm the only one with see-through vision. <laughs> nice. Animation. I'm talking about the animation. <laughs> Teen Titans, the original show, had a dirty joke in it. The character is able to see through clothing. Wow, he wasn't even concerned about the fight there, buddy. He's concerned about unraveling some things. And I didn't notice this when I was younger, but that's a crazy joke. Very clever. Writers, very clever. But it does make me question this guy because that's kind of weird to do. Let's go on. Okay, you can play this, right, Bimo? Yes, Finn. It goes in my butt. Oh. I like how the background music is so peaceful in this one when the other previous clips were just but this one you got a peaceful tone as Bimo literally tells the main characters Finn and Jake to put it in his butt. Yes. Now the thing about this clip is is that this is an innocent clip but if you're thinking I don't know what to say about this one okay I'm not even gonna attempt to say anything. Realistically this is how technology works especially Bimo the device he is this is how it works. You have to put it in the back side. So I understand why he would say that. He's an innocent character, but even Finn and Jake had to kind of question and say, okay, wait, hold on a second. Uh, what are we doing here exactly? Gay. F it. We're just going to do it and put it yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, gay. interesting. Well, this was definitely an adult joke thrown in in Cartoon Network. This is so exciting. Now I'm going to give you guys a caution. The next one I'm about to show you is crazy. Little junk, junk in the trunk. Oh boy, what is stuck in her booty, guys? I don't know. She says there's junk in there, some kind of device. I'm not gonna go in depth. Mm. And the way she moaned at the end is super sus. What's going on, Dipper? <gasps> ah, you're at that creepy age where you spy on girls, huh? The funny thing about this clip is this is actually Mabel in Dipper's body, but take a look at this crazy conversation. The birds and the bees, you know? <laughs> I, I should really be going- No way out of it. Look, it all begins with this little fella, the pituitary gland. He may be little, but he has big plans. He may be little, but he has big plans. Whatever was taught that day had to have been scientific. The man brought out a freaking book, my guy. Why am I sweaty? A book. Sat him down, her, and taught her about the pituitary gland. 
it doesn't get crazier than this. This show is freaking hilarious. This is comedy gold right here. And of course, they did a little jump cut because they're not going to go too much in depth. But what exactly was he talking about? The birds and the bees? I don't think that's what Mabel wanted to hear. Not even Dipper would want to hear this right now. Ah, uh, Margaret and I used to argue like that. Sometimes up to six times a day. From first thing in the morning until last thing at night. Don't let this clip fool you, because this guy is not talking about arguing with his wife. I'm telling you, it sounds like he's talking about something else that he was doing with his wife. Let's take a little closer look. Occasionally, we'd do it in public. Once, even while we were sleeping. Can someone explain to me why this man is laughing when he's quote-unquote telling a story about him? quote unquote arguing with his wife there weren't arguing i think this is an adult joke oh man you know i'm noticing a complete lack of balls in this room no soccer balls no footballs no baseballs no balls good thing i brought my own the loud house by far is one of the most kitty cartoons more true to the nature of this video but even they had some adult dirty jokes thrown in especially in some of the earlier seasons as we see the character, Lynn Loud, is talking about balls, and Lincoln Loud looks confused. Exactly. Because she said there was a lack of it. Now, we all know in the real world, a lack of balls means a lack of the package, brother. You're not tough. Correct. But it looks like this was a diversion, uh, not even really directed towards Lincoln Loud. And it That's was correct. an adult joke. Let's go on. Yeah. Besides, if I drive a group of boys to the movies in this outfit, they'll arrest me. Timmy Turner's dad caught me off guard here because I busted out laughing when I saw this because I did not think that Nickelodeon was even allowed to like that. I mean, that's such a touchy subject, a really messed up situation. But comedy has no boundaries. That was insane. Fastest man alive. Which might explain why you can't get a date. Yeah. Hey. I like how the Flash didn't even realize he got burned so badly by her. The guy was like, yeah, you're right. I'm so cool. Hey, wait a minute. That's a burn. I can finish. Wait, no, I I don't really finish fast. That's that's not me. I, I can get a date. I, I, uh, but she called him out. And, you, you know, she called him out. She burned him pretty bad because he was getting a little bit too confident, man. You know, cockiness is not the best look on a superhero. You know, if you want to be a superhero, you want to chill on the cockiness, be humble, save people. But she got him. And that's why that was number one on the list. Thank you guys for watching this video, and you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. We are at the end of the video. Yeah, guys. This video is a little bit suspicious. You know what I mean? Little bit suspicious. You know what I mean? It's a nice video. You understand? But a lot of things were being fished out. A lot of things were fished out in this video because we as a kid you watch the video and you don't even think much like you just overlook the whole thing and you know you just keep on watching as a kid when i was a kid most of these videos most of these cartoons i never understood what they meant like i was just as long as my eye is just on the tv I'm just watching the tv mm. i'm okay i'm good that 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 was just how i was back in the days you know what I mean? when i was still a kid that's how it is when i was still a kid you don't put too much interest in you know getting to understand the movie if it is in terms of superhero movies what i just care when i was a kid what i just care about is just the actions there like the actions the way they fight and all these things i don't even understand much sense and that's why they're kids so quite all right you will get away with it because it's a kid video you'll get away with it that's for sure we have come to the end of this video guys thanks for watching this video and like share and subscribe thanks guys levels yeah, yeah. rich ass stuff yeah. she never been